Hi everyone. So today we're going to be making some chocolate brownies. I actually am not a huge fan of brownies until I started making this recipe and it is so much better than those two bright brownies that you buy at the grocery store. I know they're a fan favorite, but to me it's like, eh, there's a lot of hype about them. I would rather homemade brownies. So I'm going to be using this measuring cup. It saves a lot of time in terms of measuring um, using different measurements. Does that make sense? It gives you measurements for cups, for ounces, for liters, for milliliters. I always find myself Googling um, cups to ounces or whatever. So this um, definitely takes <laughs> some, some time away from doing that. So I would definitely recommend getting one of these. So let's get started. First step, go ahead and get all your ingredients out. You're gonna get your measuring cups out. You're gonna get your bowls out. And you know why? Because it saves time. When it comes to baking, everything has to kind of be exact. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the one thing that you can measure off, and that's the chocolate chips. So we're supposed to be measuring eight ounces of chocolate chips. I'm just gonna eyeball it. These chocolate chips are delicious. Eight ounces, similar to one cup, and we're just gonna put them in this bowl, and this will be literally our last step. I'm using semi-sweet chocolate chips. You can use whatever chocolate chips that you prefer. These cook down and melt really well as opposed to milk chocolate. I just like these a little bit better. But any chocolate chips that you like, do your thing. Do your thing. Next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna measure out three quarter cups of unsalted butter. So I'm just using the no-name kind. <laughs> I'm using the no-name kind because I didn't go grocery shopping last, but I normally wouldn't. So I like, I like everything that's easy. <laughs> this is basically me baking and telling you that you can be lazy while you're baking. This is the laziest way to do it right. Okay? Okay, okay. Great. We're going to use the measurements given on the back of the butter. My knife is stuck. I'm gonna just cut it in cubes and then that way it's going to melt more consistently. All right, I'm just gonna drop these into our measuring cup here because you can definitely put this in the microwave and it won't explode. The next thing we're going to measure into a bowl is one and one fourth cups of white sugar. two eggs needed for this recipe, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So I'm just going to measure my vanilla extract in a tiny little container. I wish there was a way to see the counter more, but they ranked. For a second, I'm like, did I read this wrong? There's more sugar in this recipe than flour. Isn't that crazy? Brownies are bad for you. Okay, let's get over it. We're going to measure up three fourth cups of all peppers flour. That's one half of a cup and a fourth. I love this cocoa powder. Now we're gonna use cocoa powder, by the way. I got this from Costco. I also have this kind of cocoa powder. It's a little bit cheaper and it's better if you know that you don't do a lot of baking with cocoa powder. This is for someone that's trying to one up their game a little bit and it's Dutch processed. So um, a little better quality. It's all based on kind of how much you're really cooking with chocolate, how much you really taste the difference. We're going to mix a fourth cup of cocoa powder. I'm going to put this in a separate bowl. Normally, I'll just put it with cocoa salt. But... Last but not least, a teaspoon of salt. All right, let's check out our ingredient lineup here. So we have our flour, our cocoa powder, two eggs, vanilla extract, salt, sugar, melted butter, chocolate chips, and then we're going to get whatever pan that you're gonna cook your brownies on. You're gonna go ahead and grab that, and then you're also gonna get some parchment paper to line your pan with. So set your oven for 350 degrees so that it gives it some time to heat up while we're putting everything together. So we're gonna start with our sugar. We're gonna add in our me melted butter here, and we're gonna start to mix. And now we're going to add in our vanilla extract and our two eggs. And we're gonna continue to mix. 
Does anyone else like to mix in their hands? I hate mixing when it's on the counter. We don't want to over mix this. We just want to incorporate it until it kind of has this nice consistency. We're going to get our chocolate chips now and we're going to melt them in the microwave. So I'm just going to heat it for 30 seconds and then I'm going to go back. I'm going to give it a little mix and then we'll know that our chocolate chips are ready when they are nice and shiny. We're going to put together our flour, our salts, and our cocoa powder. Now you don't have to get a sifter if you don't have one. I'm gonna sift mine in, but the last time that I made this recipe, I didn't sift them in, and it didn't really make a big deal. But we're gonna sift them anyway. Flour first, followed by our salts, and the cocoa powder. All right, I'm just gonna get my whisk and kind of push all of the extra through. Just mixing everything together here. Make sure that you're scraping down the sides of your bowl. We wanna be really gentle with this mixture. We don't wanna over mix. There's a lot of rules. All right, this looks so good and delicious. The last step for this delicious chocolate brownie is that we're going to include our melted chocolate chips. Okay, so my chocolate chips are nice and melted. So I'm gonna get my whisk and just mix them kind of all together. And then once you know that you've mixed all your chocolate together, we're going to put it in with our brownies. So I'm actually gonna get one of these just to make sure that I get every last chocolate chip in there. <laughs> and again, we're just gonna mix everything together. So once you get this nice, shiny, thick consistency, you wanna start mixing and move on. <laughs> I'm just gonna set that aside. We're gonna get our baking pan. Get some margarine or butter, whatever you use. I like to get a paper towel. I put my hand right in the middle of it. I fold both sides around, one side under, and then hold it, and I just scoop. I'm gonna use margarine. We're just gonna make sure we get it in all the corners. And then this we can just throw out. Or throw it at the, throw it at the video if you want to. So we're gonna cut our parchment paper into two strips along the length, so cut it to size, and then we're gonna just push it into the corners. Margarine and butter, this also helps to kind of push um, your parchment paper in, because it will seal really nicely, it won't pop up on you. So now we're gonna just get the other strip, and we're gonna put it along the opposite side, so it should look like this. Now that we have it in our pan, we're just gonna kind of spread it out evenly, push it into the corners and level it out. And there we go. We have our delicious brownie mix. If you've preheated your oven already, then you're ready to just throw this in the oven. It should bake for about 20 to 25 minutes. It all just depends on how hot your oven is, how big your oven is, what type of oven you have. So it really is just a guideline so make sure that you're checking your brownies frequently so that they don't burn. You just get a toothpick, put it in. If it comes out clean, then you know it's ready. We are back with our chocolate brownies. I waited 35. This is what it looks like. It's nice and delicious looking. We're gonna leave it in here and wait for it to cool. I'm actually gonna put mine in the fridge, cut it up, and enjoy. I hope that you really like this recipe. If you didn't like it, don't make it again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And I hope you enter chocolate heaven. <laughs>